Welcome to Duron Yoga. Agni Stambhasana, the fire log pose. Fantastic hip opener. Um, let's look at how it's done and how to really get the most benefit from it. So, as the name implies, we're going to stack our logs, our shins, one on top of the other. This pose many times is called um, ankle to knee pose, double pigeon pose. Um, all names are great, whatever works for you. I'm going to start with my bottom leg, my right leg in this case, and I'm placing it parallel to the front of the mat, knee and ankle. I'm flexing my foot, because this will activate a bit of the muscles around the knee to protect it. I'm going to take the other leg, place the ankle right over the knee, right? Not lower than the knee, but right over the knee. And eventually let the knee come down to the other ankle, both knees flexed, so that my shins are parallel. This is kind of the foundation. For some of us already here, we're like Hachiwawa feeling the hips. Really? Most human beings don't come down there. They're somewhere up here and they're Aichiwawa. Some are kind of here and singing hula 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 mula. So, if this is the case and you can't take it anywhere down and it's just not working, here's the step before that. Place the right knee up. The left ankle goes on top of the thigh close to the knee and then I'm keeping my hands behind me. If you feel a stretch here, awesome. If not, you can release one hand and gently deepen it by pressing the left knee a little forward and you may be feeling quite intense. Okay. The thing is, if you feel your knee hurting, don't push, right? The knee, when it gets to be like a sharp pain, that means your hip is tight and it's like the hip is not gonna break, it's gonna go to the knee because that's just easier to stretch. So easy, easy on these poses, okay? So, option one. If option one is good, we're going towards the Agni Stambhasana, the fire log pose. Maybe this is option two. Standing here tall, hand down here. If you're here and it's a Slampasana position, sit on a block, sit on a blanket, elevate yourself to kind of create space for the lower back. If all this is great, and you can lower down, maybe you're working on lowering down again to uh, to having the knees and the ankles in one line. Staying here is fantastic, or if you need deeper, lengthen the spine, start to move forward, and I can start feeling it now. Maybe this is it. I like to kind of almost imagine like I'm pouring myself over the legs, right? If all this is still good, lower down and rest here, right? And just stay here for as long as it feels good. Some people like to add shoulder stretch to this. So you can bind the hands behind the back if that feels good for you. And if you're taking the bind of the arms, you have two options. Again, staying up here or starting to move forward. And again, this is kind of more intense because you have both the hips and the shoulders. And you can go down a bit or eventually come down. If you've come all the way down, instead of letting the hands rock, try to lift it up so you're still getting a shoulder stretch. One more time, we'll look at it at the other side, and, and then we'll call it a day. So, ankle to knee. Again, remember, especially if you're one of the flexible people, if you release the leg just by a couple of inches or even less, for many of us, all the stretch will disappear. So really try to keep it as much as you can, ankle onto the knee. Be a pita, be a precise person here, right? Ankle to knee, here's what it looks like from the side, right? Flush body, lengthening, and then maybe starting to move forward just to the place that feels comfortable. Heart is open, at least at first, eventually you can surrender down. That's it. Pretty simple. A great addition to any other hip openers you already do. Just do it carefully. Don't let your knees hurt. And try to stay there for a while, right? Go more than five breaths. If you can, stay for 10, 20 breaths, 30 breaths. Um, yeah, a minute or two, and then you'll really start to feel it opening. Okay? Thanks a lot. Enjoy your practice. Namaste.